I would define myself as a bird photographer. I do all types of photography. I have done landscape photography, family photography, but if I had to choose one thing and do one thing only, it would be with the birds. If you want to get the right picture, you really have to connect with the bird. You have to understand the nature of each species of bird, and you have to be able to anticipate their movements. And it, uh, it's something I could just do for hours and hours, and it's just such a beautiful experience for me. The beauty of bird photography is that a bird will do the same thing over and over and over. But usually I become so overwhelmed, I get all these goosebumps, and, and, and just to see the beauty of this, or see a bird I never saw before. Oh, but what I'm going to do now, you have to watch it and observe it and see what's going to be next. I could do it every day. But I just want to get better and better at it. As you do something creative, and if you really like it, you're going to practice. And as you practice, you're going to see, oh, I can even be much better. So you go, you do it even more. And that's where the, where the creative juices start to flow and when a person becomes a really great photographer. In 2007, I came to work at B&H as an affiliate campaign account manager. In my day-to-day work. I am talking to photographers all day long, different kinds of photographers. My knowledge of photography and what I do uh, helps create a conversation, helps create a bond between me and my affiliates, and it goes way beyond just a dollars and cents business relationship. It helps us create a friendship. We go shooting together, we exchange ideas, we exchange, exchange creative ideas. In order to take pictures of birds, you have to have water, you have to have cover, and you have to have food. Now once you have those three things, you're gonna have birds. Now you need the sun at your back, the wind at your back. Once you have the wind at your back, the birds are gonna come at you. No one wants to see the back of a bird. They wanna see the bird, they wanna see the face, you wanna have the eye, it has to be perfectly in focus. If you're taking a picture, you need to have a good camera with a good tracking, but you have to have very good panning skills because you wanna get the eye perfectly sharp. That is really one of the key elements in a good bird photo. It's extremely challenging and it's extremely satisfying. To me, it's therapeutic to be out there, to be in sync with nature, to be in sync with the birds. I could be out there, I come back, it's such a calming and, 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 and beautiful feeling. And in the end, I have something that I can share with someone else also. I can share that beauty, I can share that, that moment, and I can tell a story. My name is Abe Curlin, and I photograph for the love of the craft. Was that a good interview? Great. Good. You sure? Yeah. I felt like I was babbling, and I.